But guys, thank you very much again for checking out our latest video. If you came through the Facebook page, which you probably did because it's just a QA, and a not a match analysis, thank you very much for the view. Uh, however, if you don't know the Facebook page I'm talking about, I'll leave you a link in the description down below. Make sure you check it out, give it a little like, we're a good little page, we've been doing it a while now. So, since it's a Q&A, the first question I'm going to do today is from Ian Milne, another admin on our page, so check him out as well. Um, when, why and how did you become a Rangers fan? That's a very good question and um, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that I'm English, English accent, uh, born in England, raised in England. Um, but my dad's Scottish, his whole side of the family is, he's a Rangers fan and he took me up to my first game in 2002 to 2003-ish. It was 3-0 Rangers against Hibs. And ever since then, I just completely fell in love with the club. And it's a little bit harder to follow it down here as to up in Scotland, but it's still very easy to fall in love with Rangers and be a Rangers fan. And that's what I absolutely love about being part of Rangers. Um, and the answer to how did I become a Rangers fan is not only because of family, but also because of that first game I went to. And I've been going annually ever since. Some people say that um, perhaps I shouldn't try and get a ticket for the Celtic game because I don't go consistently. Well, I can agree with that because, you know, a lot of you go all the time. Hats off to you guys, man. Total respect for you. But I, I don't actually have the accessibility to go there. And it's an even bigger match for me to draw my own name to. So um, it's something that everyone's going to be attracted to, like it or not. A lot of people that boycotted or, you know, Sons of Street from that, they're going to be there. So why not join them, eh? Um, and the next question comes from Kai Jeffrey. And it says, what was your favourite Rangers game and why? Oh, my favourite Rangers game was most recently that I saw it. In fact, no, it's the second most recent one I saw. It was Rangers versus Clyde. Uh, Barry Ferguson was the manager of Clyde and we thumped them 8-1, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Chris Boy picked up a hat-trick. Lewis McLeod got two and I think Lee McCulloch banged in a long shot as well. And Lee McCulloch, I've got to say, he's got a massive place in my heart, literally. Um, I have the biggest amount of respect for him. I don't know why, I just absolutely love the guy. Um, so, yeah. Reigns versus Clyde, the 8-1 win, I think. That's definitely my favourite game I've ever seen. It was just, we played as a team. We looked like we were playing for each other, for the fans, for the jersey. And it's just a brilliant thing to see. And Chris Boy got a hat-trick. Can he not do that again, please? Because I, I want him to score more goals. Um, the next question is from Richard McCurdy. Who was the best Rangers goalkeeper? Sorry, who was the best out of these Rangers goalkeepers? Gorham. Uh, and again, if, I'm, if I pronounce his names wrong... I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm English. I pronounced them wrong before, like, I call Aloha. There you go. I call Aloha. 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 And I called Stenhouse Mill or Steinhouse Mill. So, uh, I don't even know if I got them the right way around. Anyway, so here we go. Gorham, McCloy, McGregor, Kloss, Woods and Walker. So, who's my favourite out of them? Um, well, for me, it's got to be Kloss. Because he's my childhood goalkeeper. The first goalkeeper I think I ever saw at Rangers. Never saw Goran, or Goran, sorry if I'm pronouncing his name wrong again. But from what I hear, he's been an absolutely amazing keeper. I think they called him the goalie, or the goalie, you know, back in England. Um, but yeah, for me, it's definitely got to be Kloss. I would have said McGregor, had he not have left Rangers, and you know, the whole speculation of him doing that and on the sideline. Yeah, but he kind of got Barry Ferguson kicked out of the club, I think, when he was doing it with him. Barry Ferguson went and McGregor didn't, which, Barry Ferguson, by the way. I met him, lovely bloke, said hi to him in Cameron House, he said hi back. A really satisfying moment in my life. <laughs> um, the next one comes from Neil McLennan. Uh, <laughs> when will our troubles end? It's knackering me. I think it's safe to say that you're not the only one getting knackered from this. Um, so don't feel like you're on your own. We can completely empathise with you. I don't know, when will it end? I'm kind of hoping that um, if, or rather hopefully when... Um, Mike Ashley comes into Rangers. That sounds so wrong. When Mike Ashley comes over to Rangers, um, I, I really hope he's going to do something about it, sort something out, forget his business head and just, you know, do like business head in terms of like, all he wants to do is probably get a nail into Rangers and screw money out of it. But hopefully he can put money into it, save us and then do what he wants as long as we don't go bust again, as long as we're a successful club again, I'll worship him, literally. But, um, that's when I hope that our troubles will end and it's knackering me as well. As it probably is everyone watching this. Um, Aiden, oh my god. Sorry mate, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce this name. Um, Aiden 20 Wan or Van McKinnon. I think I did well for myself there. Um, do you think Ali should get stacked? And if he does, who should replace him? Now that's a very, very, very hard question to answer because no matter what, 
There's the vision in Rangers, okay? And I'd say about 60% of the fans now, the bulk, as Ali said, are with Ali. But that's gone down from 80 to 60, and it's slowly decreasing. 40% at the moment are, you know, to sack him. And I was on the sack side. Um, uh, if you'd asked me that a couple of weeks ago, I'd have said straight up, sack Ali, get him out, get him to walk, whatever. But no, 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 no. I want Ali to stay because I just feel so much sympathy for the man. Um, I think he's still got more to offer the club. He definitely looks more devoted now than ever. Um, you look into his eyes, as I said before, see two things, sadness and devotion, and he, his integrity to Rangers is unquestionable. Calling him a leech or something like that, it's just a horrible thing to say to an absolute Rangers legend. I just hope that not many more people lose respect for him as he's, in my opinion, in my heart, he's always a legend at Rangers, no matter what. Is he the best manager Rangers have ever had? Definitely not. But at the moment, with the team and the leagues we're in, I'd say he's, he's doing all right. I mean, for crying out loud, we've had back-to-back -back -back league titles. Two trophies out of 20, well, great. Oh, well, we've been promoted twice. And we're second in the league. What are we complaining about? So, yeah, uh, but he said um, if he does get sacked or leaves, um, who should replace him? Now, this talk about it being Butcher, this talk about it being McKay, McCann. No, I've just I've messed that one up. Let's talk about it being Butcher. So I'm thinking about it being like when you McCall, Stuart McCall. Let's talk about it being Butcher, McCall, and McCoy. So these are the three men that apparently should manage Rangers. But I think they should be the three men that are on the pitch. Because literally, those are the three attitudes, the three players that we need to be playing. But unfortunately, obviously they're all old and past it. But um, yeah, so hopefully, if all does go tits up, excuse my language with Ali, then those may be the replacements. But you know, nothing really goes right in Rangers fans' eyes. So. There we go. Anyways, my name's Ben. I'm off the page Rangers FC, Scotland's most successful football club. Check us out. See ya.